country. Senator, we were talking about this yesterday, and you said regardless of what the FBI finds, you are going to vote no on Kavanaugh because you disagree with him on substance, and you have since the beginning. If the FBI, though, does not find anything conclusive or anything that would be a smoking gun or any serious or direct corroborations of any of the allegations, would you understand why a couple of your colleagues, Senator Heitkamp or Senator Manchin, would end up voting yes? After all, they're in, they're in really red states and they're facing competitive re-election fights. I would understand their views and their vote in any event. I would continue to urge them however, very strongly, that they vote against Judge Kavanaugh because I think he'd be a fifth vote to overturn Roe v. Wade. He'd be a fifth vote that would eliminate people's right to marry the person they love, for women to decide when they want to become <coughs> pregnant, for workers' rights and other rights. So I think our core principles and values would be violated. Well, let me ask you what the Democratic calculus is here to put this in very stark political terms. If a sinking a nomination to the Supreme Court means losing a couple Senate seats instead of gaining some Senate seats or protecting Senate seats, would that be worth it? There is no more important vote than I will cast than on this nomination to the United States Supreme Court. And I believe that by virtue of lack of temperament and fitness for office, as was demonstrated so graphically in that last when he threatened and came to us full of revenge and arrogance and acrimony that this man should not be on the Supreme Court. So I would continue to urge my colleagues to vote against him. And we need to educate the American people about the reasons for those decisions so that, in fact, they will be on the side of my colleagues. They will support them for that decision.